Hi, in this session, we're going to cover the framework mapping of the TM Forum version 20 to CSDM version 3. The TM Forum's alliance of about 850 global companies that work together on telecommunication standards from a enterprise architecture and planning from an IT point of view. And you can see on the right-hand side, you've got a number of member resources when you go to the tmforum.org, uh, frameworks, application frameworks.tam. We'll go into a few of these, but really we're looking at the application forum frameworks. To explain the differences and similarities between CSDM and the TM Forum, what we really look at on CSDM, of course, is we cover on how to manage digital products and services throughout their whole life cycle, whereas TM Forum covers the entire telecom process app and information model used in most telecommunications organizations. The use of CSDM, of course, is part of the ServiceNow platform suite. And uh, the TM Forum, it's vendor agnostic forum that the telecom industry came together to agree upon so that they can interchange and interact because as you can imagine, it, in the telecom industry, uh, you need to place calls across multiple carriers and networks. And so uh, it was really important for interoperability in the carrier side for a long time. The origins of CSDN was relatively new. It was created in the 2018 timeframe. And uh, as opposed to the TM Forum, which started in the 1990s as a way to drive consolidation and uh, to harmonize the different ways of telecommunications products and services, how they work. It's very heavily enterprise architecture influence as well, as you'll see when we go through the framework. There's a couple of different viewpoints that we wanted to look at within the TM Forum. This is the first one. This is the open digital architecture. And for the most part, this has things that we don't really cover directly in CSDM. But there's a few things you can talk about. Uh, the first one is the business correlation with business capabilities in the design model for CSDM. So that there is a correlation there that you can kind of look at. And for the most part, the systems IT and network area covers all of CSDM in terms of integration framework, uh, uh, the uh, functional framework. In CSDM, we're not necessarily framework driven in the sense that we are there to support creating applications at a design level. We're there to support from design, of course, down to technical and, and consumption, uh, but uh, there is some synergy there. Where it becomes interesting on TM Forum is really the synergies with the process groupings. And you can see here on the left-hand side, this is how the TM Forum thinks about the various layers from external suppliers at the very bottom through business partners, resourcing, service management. Um, and that's really the services provided by IT that are used in products by customers and then sold. And so uh, you look at that from a enterprise use of partner products or to interact with those partners all the way through how they service and they provide products for their customers. This is, by the way, one of the few frameworks that does have a heavy product orientation, uh, which is uh, a, a good part of the TM forum that you should probably look at. Um, the correlation to a CSDM first kind of hits in this customer area. So you see that in the customer space, we do have capture the companies here on the foundations, but there is also a big area of customer understanding that comes with our CSM products. So they bolt onto CSDM. They're not specifically in CSDM, but with the CSM product, they add a number of tables that cover that space. When we look at the business partners, we do have that covered in company as well. And uh, the company is understanding, you know, how partners are providing contracts and the um, things that we're using with those partners. Those are also yeah, covered in contracts, as I, as I mentioned. Uh, and to kind of note with CSDM, we have the company tables that are used for both the suppliers and customers. So if you're dealing with uh, both ends of the spectrum, we have the same tables in the CSDM model. Where we have a correlation is with product over in the business service and the service offering. And this is more or less the customer facing product. And as I said, the CSM does add some things to that with regards to how products are used by customers, but uh, that's where the closest synergy is. Uh, 
The service in this model, however, is more or less the technical services that underpin what the customers use. And those uh, correspond over here on the left-hand side in the technical service domain in, uh, that we have in CSDM. Last but not least is the resources that are used within those services. And those are for the most part recognized as part of the configuration items. So those are the underlying, I would say, infrastructure and software used within those services. Uh, and last but not least is the enterprise. When you look at the enterprise and you decompose that, you know, employees, stakeholders, uh, you basically have a correlation to the locations, users, groups within the system that you uh, deal with. So um, that is really how, how this whole architecture is managed. If you think about it from an enterprise point of view and how the business basically works with IT and, and deals with those uh, various layers out to the customer. This is just a, a higher level decomposition of those layers and you can see what's in those layers. And this is where you can start understanding what they mean by service is more or less the underlying uh, service that's provided to, the, to uh, drive the products. And the resources are the underlying things that are used to provide those services. So the one thing I wanted to point out also is the product area. So in the product, those are areas where we're going to be investing more heavily in. And this is an area where in the foundations domain where we have product in the CSDM, you'll see a bigger use of products in the context uh, of customer going forward. So you'll see this kind of adopted more and more as we evolve CSDM and ServiceNow. Thank you very much for this quick brief overview of how the TM forum and TM frameworks map to CSDM. Thank you.